Discover Jitsi Beat, a free and open source video conferencing solution that puts simplicity and security at the forefront. Hi, in this video we'll explore the powerful features of the free alternative to Google Meet Jitsi. If you are concerned about the security and privacy of your audio and video calls, not that Jitsi encrypt them, while by using your own instance your search will remain confidential. Before jumping to the platform overview, let's see the different options we have to use Jitsi. You can use public instances like the official one, or if you want to keep it private within your company and team, you can create your own instance. You can self-host it by following the documentation, or what we will do together, use a platform to install and manage the software for you, in our case LSTO. To deploy your own instance of Jitsi, you can go to ls.io, hit login, deploy my first service, then search for Jitsi, select, select your cloud provider, I will choose Scaleway, choose your region and then the service plan you need, hit next, choose your level of support and hit create service. I received the email telling me that my Jitsi instance is ready, I can access to it by this link. The UI is simple and straight to the point, you can just write the name of the room and start a meeting. There are on the bottom side three links, one to get the app on the App Store for mobile, on Google Play and on F-Droid. As always, before joining a meeting, it's important to configure your profile, go to the settings, allow the use of the audio, also of the camera. Now when I'm speaking, I can see it detects my microphone. If I go to video, I'm able to see me. I can go to virtual background and decide to blur smoothly or with a stronger blur. I can also use images as background image. Here are the presets, but I can add my images as the background. I can be corporate and put the logo of LSTO. Then I can decide to enable different type of notifications, either for sound or to display notifications on the browser. You can set up your profile, my name, and a Gravatar email. So it's based on your email if you have one configured. I know I have one with this email address. Now if I go back to my profile, it loaded my picture. And then you have just few settings like enable pre-meeting screen, the number of participants who can be pinned. By default it's one and they said it's experimental. You can hide yourself and you can switch the language of the interface. Okay, let's create our first meeting. Let's create our first meeting. Let's name it Welcome LSTO. Before joining it, I have this screen that prevents me to join it while I'm not ready, while my Mac is not working or my camera is set, but I don't want to be seen. I also have the settings to select my background. I thought I saved it, but maybe I didn't press OK after I did it. I can invite people change my name, so I have all the profile settings available here, so I'm sure it's set before joining a session. And I hit join meeting. And then you are used to this kind of tools, maybe with Google Meet, but you have basically the same options available. You can mute your microphone and switch to another mic. You can also do the same for the camera. You can start sharing your screen. I won't do it or it will be inception. You can open the chat to discuss with people and also organize poll. Let's try to create one, create a poll. What is your favorite open source software? Jitsi or Jitsi send. Oh, it pop up here and then people can answer and submit. It's quite a nice feature to have. Thank you to answer the poll. Then you have the well-known raise your hand to speak when you have a big meeting with a lot of people is quite useful. You also have reactions available here with the arrow here and you can send it here. It also appears in the chat and you have this nice animation and it comes with sound but I don't have sound enabled on my laptop now. You can see the members of the room here. You can mute or disable the camera. And then you have a bunch of options. The one we will try is start recording. We can save it locally, it's in beta, but we will do it. 
we can decide only to record what we are doing if we are doing an important presentation we want to share. Start recording, I chose this tab. It tells me to don't forget to stop the record if I want to be able to save it. Okay, I'm good, let's say I want to stop it. Where is it? Stop recording, confirm. And here it downloaded me a WebM file with the video. Another cool feature you have is here, embed meeting, and you have a link to build an iframe with the Jitsi meeting so you can enable it into your website. The mobile applications are available here on the App Store. It has 400 reviews, so it's quite used. There are the screenshots and it looks like the same we had on the web interface. We also have the Google Play version for Android. Here we can see a huge number of downloads and reviews, so it's very widely used. Also, a recommendation I do when I do platform overview is to go into the documentation to see how they present the product, how it can help us dig into it. It can be either technical with the architecture or just the explanation of some concept to better use the project. You can also discover features you didn't know exist or features that don't exist yet. They say check back soon, but now you know the roadmap and maybe the information was available only from here. As documentation is something very important for developers, it's very common that open source software provide good documentation. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button as it helps our content to be more visible to other open source software users. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews or free open source alternatives. We also have many existing videos that might interest you, like this one here.